Hey there, Samantha with Upamu. I'm going to show you the basic movements of a tilt shift lens. So here we go. This knob right here controls the shift function on the lens. And all we do is turn that knob. We can move it up or we can move it down. So we'll put that back to zero position. This bigger knob here controls tilt. And we can also move that so that the lens goes up or down. Here we go back up. And we can put it back to a zero. So let's look at the tilt function first. We can tilt the lens so that it goes down all the way, or we can tilt the lens up. And we can also rotate the lens so that we can then tilt into a different plane. Now we're tilting to the side and here we're tilting to the other side. What about shift? Well, let's look at shift. So we can shift the lens so the entire lens moves down or we can shift the lens so it moves up. And we can still rotate the lens And then we can shift the lens to the right, there we go, or to the left. Another interesting movement that you can do with a tilt shift lens is actually to put the lens on a diagonal. So let's try that with tilt. Here's tilt. Tilt the lens just a little bit so it's at a diagonal. And now we can tilt into a plane that is actually at a diagonal to our camera. So before we can use shift and tilt on our tilt shift lens, we have to make sure that those functions are actually locked. And these two levers right here, these two knobs, control the lock on shift and the lock on tilt, respectively. So if we were to use our tilt function, make sure this is loose, then we can tilt the lens. You wanna make sure though that you actually lock the lens at that degree of tilt, otherwise the lens might slip and you would have a ruined composition. We don't want that. So let's make sure we lock the lens and then it won't move. If we want to change the planes that we're shifting and tilting into, these are the release levers that we use to do that. So this is the release lever that changes shift and this is the release lever that changes tilt. Now a good workflow before you put the lens away is to make sure that the lens is set back to its neutral position. So if we look at the degrees of tilt on shift, degrees of tilt here on the tilt side, and the degrees of shift, we want to make sure that the two long lines are lined up. So unlock that, tilt down, lock the tilt function, shift is all good. And one final thing we want to make sure that we do is engage the lock that locks the entire lens. This way the lens won't move in our camera bag.